Hello my beautiful cappuccinos and welcome to your general reading. Today we're going to be seeing what is coming towards you, family, lover, friend or foe. Please remember the energy in the readings can go vice versa, okay? Um, feel free to switch the genders, okay? Switch the roles, do what you got to do, leave the rest. If you'd like to book a personal reading or for anything else, it's down below. Um, so I remembered clearly, because in Virgo's reading, I just completely forgot my intro so i feel like you're clear-minded clear conscious here um <sighs> capricorn see i almost forgot because i call you guys cappuccinos i think someone asked me one time why do i call capricorns cappuccinos well because you know you're strong like coffee capricorn was the color black and brown i think but Coffee is very addictive. You know, people, I always hear people saying, well, coffee drinkers, oh, I need my morning coffee. And it's like, it gives them power and energy. And that's what you rule, okay? So you're strong, dark, mysterious, um, and addictive, okay? That's the energy that I kind of feel like Capricorn represents. So that's why I, got, that's why I call you cappuccinos, okay? Yeah. So anyway, moving on. Um... So you could be dealing with a Virgo, you could have significant Virgo placements because the energy seems to be quite similar. So um, we'll start with this. The overall energy for you is express yourself. And at the bottom of the deck, we have courage, okay? So for some of you, I feel like you've got something on your brain. It's just, because you know, with that red hair, I feel like heat. So I'm getting something about Mars. So you could have Capricorn Mars, okay? Or you could have Gemini in Mars, okay? Um, or Leo in Mars, okay? But either way, I feel like you're, there's something that you really want to say, but you're shy to say it, or you're afraid, okay? We do have Gemini. This could be somebody as well that wants to say something to you. You could also be working on your anger or your temperament. Maybe you're trying to restrain yourself from kind of cussing a bitch out, okay? <laughs> we have Gemini. It says um, three, Mercury, air, communication, language, social, adaptable, versatile, and clever. And at the bottom of that, we have Cancer, which reads number four, moon, water, emotion, family, sensitive, nurture, intuition, and telepathy. So I feel like you're trying to, I just heard I'm trying to get right with the Lord, okay? <laughs> so maybe some of you are i feel like you're trying to get your angel and your devil in check so i feel like you're trying to i feel like you're trying to work out how you want to say something okay how you want to communicate something to someone or this could be somebody is thinking this about you it could be a family member okay with the cancer energy it could be like a secret or something that's hidden or maybe you're getting intuitive download and you could be trying to think to yourself how can i convey this message maybe you're trying to decipher something Okay, with the clever energy, you also could feel that somebody's way of expressing is very clever. Okay. But I feel like you're in your feelings right now. Or somebody's in their feelings or somebody's just really sensitive. Okay. But I feel like somebody, you know, it's like someone has a lot of pride here is what I'm seeing. And um, they're being coached to like... um. Just get something off of their chest. I'm just saying just express how you feel. However you feel is however you feel. You know what I mean? It is what it is. However the person is going to take it is however they're going to take it. It's like, you know, this is how I feel. This is about the situation. This is what it is. So you need to express yourself. But maybe you're afraid to or you're, you're afraid of what someone is going to say. Or maybe it's really intense with the cancer energy. Maybe as well with the cancer and the, and the Gemini. This is like energy that's kind of just, uh, 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 you know what I mean? I'm trying to flip reverse it. <laughs> so somebody could be very flippy. So I'm getting you could be very moody or you could be going through different mood swings. Or maybe this is what you need to tell someone. You know what? I suffer with mood swings. I'm just saying to you. You know what I mean? Maybe you got something a little bit not right up in there. I don't know. This could be what somebody's saying to you. I don't know. Or someone's just in their mood. In their mood. Somebody's just in their feelings. Somebody could be starting their cycle as well. So maybe that's what it is. Maybe you're a bit confused because, you know, you know how it is when your cycle is starting. You're like, oh my goodness, I don't know what's going on with my life or what I'm saying or how I'm behaving. Oh. But either way, I feel like someone is dying to say something to you. But with the courage, it's either they want to, um, they're afraid to say something or they have too much pride and ego or they're trying to resist from saying something. Somebody also could be trying to resist from lying as well with the Gemini energy. Okay, I'm getting so many different com um, conversations, so many different 
stories here. So let's just let's get some deeper into this, people. Okay, let's just get some deeper and deeper into this. Okay. So we have um, the dreadlocks, which reads ancestral roots, structure, and knowledge. Okay, so there's something that's... Some, yeah, I'm getting that. You could be getting downloads. You don't even... Somebody could be questioning you about something that you know, and you don't know how to explain it. Or maybe you're trying to find the courage to say, listen, I just get shit from my dreams. That's how I know my information. It is what it is. You could be afraid. Maybe you're like a public speaker or something, and you're afraid to like, kind of like tell your downloads because you think people are going to think that like you're crazy. Fuck them. Say what you need to say. Okay? There also could be a lot of knowledge that you don't expect somebody to have. So maybe you see someone differently or somebody's seeing you differently. Okay? Well, there's something that you want to share with someone. Okay? Yeah, ancestral structure and knowledge. Also, with the structure, I feel like you're trying to structure your sentence. You could be writing as well. I'm getting somebody could be writing here. Maybe you're studying or something. I'm getting like you're, you're focused on words and sentence structures. You're trying to structure what it is that you want to say. Yeah, expressing yourself. So you could be expressing yourself through text or writing. Maybe you're trying to write something to someone or you're doing something when it comes to communications or work or something like that. You're trying to structure or control how you want to convey something or this is somebody around you. Because I feel like you don't want to come off too emotional, but you also don't want to come off you know, egotistical or oh, too passionate or, um, oh, oh my goodness, one second, guys. We have, um, yeah, the, the, the kinks. Resilient stamina and strength, yeah. <laughs> you know what? I have never looked at this card and thought about the word kinky, even though it's in the word, never. I didn't intend that when I designed this. But I just re remembered that Virgo got oh so kinky in their reading and the fact that you know this says oh so kinks and it's very similar so i feel like you could be doing what virgo is doing or maybe this is you looking at a virgo or something but someone is really trying to restrain okay like i said someone's got something all fired up in their mind what is going on man everybody is just turned on maybe somebody really turns you on i just feel like you feel like somebody's a mystery with the cancer energy cancer does cancer rule the chest the boobs Correct me if I'm wrong, I don't remember what cancer rules, because I know they say that cancerians tend to be quite voluptuous, they tend to have big boobs. So this could be um, something to do with somebody's boobs. Because <laughs> somebody, I feel like someone's having some kinky thoughts here. They're trying to keep their mind pure, but they're just like, you know what? I mean, good God. Uh, yeah, I feel like you're just, you're trying to work on how you talk to someone, but you just can't. Um, I feel like you're trying to be composed, Cappy. But you know how you get. Or maybe someone is strong. Maybe you can't break down someone's barriers and it's kind of just making you want to say stuff even more. I don't know what's going on here because this just took a turn. <laughs> I'm also getting someone can... Oh, do I want to say that? Why did the readers always turn like this? Because I'm, I'm with the, the locks, I'm seeing rope. I'm just seeing that somebody wants to like tie you up. That's the kinky thoughts I'm getting. I'm getting somebody, um, maybe I should use my sexy deck. I'm getting, um, yeah, with the adapt. It's almost like someone's looking at themselves and they're like, you know what, just keep it chill, man. It's like, nah, but you know, you know you want to say something, but just, no, just, someone's, someone's talking to like the devil and the angel on their, on their fucking shoulders, okay? Their shadow and their light side. I feel like you bring out someone's shadow side. So yeah, I feel like this is what it is. I feel like somebody is trying to hold back from saying something to you. I feel like someone has some some raw, wild things that they want to say and that they want to do. And I'm getting something about tying somebody up here. And you know what's interesting? Sorry, but I have to show you guys because Gemini's in this reading. Gemini rules the Eight of Swords. And in this deck, the Eight of Swords is this woman tied up. And I just really want to show it to you because I just feel like it's just relevant for the reading. Okay, so bear with me, people. Because if you're the one that's having the kinky thoughts, then, you know. <laughs> maybe this is going to trigger you, so maybe I shouldn't. Yeah, there it is, the Eight of Swords. I don't know if you guys can see that, but you can see how she's tied up there. 
So I feel like somebody's entangled with thoughts about you. Yeah, when somebody watches you with the six of wands, somebody may watch you online or maybe they got a picture of you. Her, her legs is open right in front of the arm. Right in front of the arm. <laughs> I don't know what's going on here. They're thick and healthy. Mm. I'm just hearing something is long and strong. Good news, good health and expansion. Yeah, I feel like something is expanding here. Oh, good God. You people, man. Yeah, innocence, please. The baby has. It says inner child, kindness and imagination. Yeah, somebody's got a very vivid imagination. I feel like somebody wants to put a baby in you, Cappuccino. Or this is you. You want to put a baby in somebody? Now, I mean, if we, I'm trying to look at this in a different way, but I just can't. Oh, I feel like this is how someone makes you feel. You're just like, I'm trying my hardest, but I just don't know. Like, it's not that like you don't know what else to say to someone. I just feel like this is just, somebody just, oh, the sleek ponytail. It reads perfection, accuracy, and loyal. Yeah, and underneath that, we have the hair crush. Um, love, attraction, and feelings. I feel like the f attraction that you have for someone is very strong, but you're just trying. I feel like you feel like somebody is perfection. Okay. Um, maybe somebody's really accurate again with their communication style. Somebody could be like a um psychic here or very intuitive. I feel like they're just on point. It's like how do you just be knowing shit? Like, mm. you just like the way somebody's imagination is. But I feel like someone is really innocent, and it makes you want them even more. Somebody's very playful. Yeah, I'm getting like, don't play with me. Like, just don't play with me. Because you're playing too much. Somebody's like, no, I don't know. Like, no, what do you mean? <laughs> Someone's like, oh my goodness. Someone's like, you know, goody two shoes with the slick ponytail. Yeah, the sleek ponytail as well. I feel like you just want to, I'm getting something about pony. Listen, I don't know why this reading is turning this way, people. Get your mind out of the gutter. Now, I mean, on another station, I'm getting that somebody may want to communicate to you about a child. So this could be a family member. This could be your niece, your nephew. This could be your baby if you have a child. Or this is the conversation that somebody could be proposing to you. Somebody could be saying to you, like, so how do you feel about kids? And you're just like, you know, especially if you haven't known someone for that long. Or maybe you're in a relationship and then someone's just like, yeah, you know, it's time to, um, I'm trying to find the remote one second, guys, sorry. You know, it's time for us to, you know, because with the structure, I feel like somebody wants to build a family with you, or maybe this is what you want to talk about, but you're just trying to find the courage to say it to this person. You may want to start a family. Or maybe you don't, and maybe that's why you, because I'm thinking, why would you be afraid to say this? Unless you don't want to have babies. And that's why it's saying courage is like, listen, you know, we can do it all day, every day, but I'm not about to be a bit them. Mm -mm. I'm not ready for that. So I don't know. It could go different ways, people. Somebody wants to put a baby in somebody. I mean, that's what I know. Yeah, you're just like, I don't know about all of that. <laughs> the seven of wands, you're like, no, 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 no. Yeah, the ten of pentacles, someone's like, yes, yes, yes. Could be dealing with a Virgo, but you're like, no, no, no. That's that Leo energy. You know what I mean? Or somebody's trying to like, fuck it. I feel like you're rejecting someone or you're, oh, shit, nigga. Yet, hold on, the card just went everywhere. Explosive. Somebody's at their breaking point, okay? May want to watch the collective reading if you haven't watched that, because that's what I called that reading. God, the cards just went everywhere. Yeah, the therapist. Somebody's trying to keep their mind under control here, okay? I mean, I just heard Britney Spears. You drive me crazy. Or maybe somebody knows that they're cuckoo for Cocoa Puffs. It's like, don't tempt me and don't test me enough because we're not ready for my type of energy. Oh, well. Now, me and you monopolize and capitalize over people, Capricorn. So if somebody's not ready, they're not ready. So you're trying to just... I feel like as well, this could be a multitude of people and you're trying to fight them off with a stick. Also, now somebody, you know, let's just... Because I'm trying to move this away from a sexual thing. If this is something to do with your foundation or something that you're building, I feel like there's a lot of people trying to attack you. There's a lot of naysayers. Because she's up on, like, this kind of pillar here. So I feel like you're supposed to be up on some type of pedestal. People are literally, literally trying to knock you off. But look at her face. She's ready. She's like, come at me, bro. Come at me, sis. Because I feel like you're 
firm. You see that pillar there? You can't be knocked down. You're firm and you're stabilized in your position. Your earth energy, you trying to fuck with the ground? I just heard the ground you walk on. Yeah, I am the ground in which you walk on. But remember, the ground can open up, you know. I'm hearing earthquake. Don't get too cocky. Yeah, worship the ground I walk on. Yeah, worship me, bitch. That's what I just heard. So <laughs> I'm just getting the downloads, people. Just getting the messages. This could also be somebody worshiping the ground that you walk on, literally. Someone's just like, listen, I'll do whatever you want. As long as I, I can put a couple babies in you or I can invest in you. Or maybe somebody wants to give birth to something with your because you have creative ideas. I don't know what's going on here. I feel like somebody wants to take your innocence away, Capricorn, or you'd want to do this to somebody. But I feel like someone is trying to fight you off. Or this is you. You're trying to structure your mind and fight off these thoughts. But it's really hard. Yeah, the brain. Somebody's thinking with the wrong head. I just have to just say it. I feel like it is really hard. <laughs> oh my good god yeah uh, the three of swords what is happening i feel like it's it just i feel like it's you want something so bad it hurts i'm getting something about blue balls blue balls blue balls blue balls blue balls <laughs> blue balls why can't i say that blue balls blue balls is that what guys get when they don't do it when they get really excited or something because you know it's the eye is blue okay now someone may reject you and it's like maybe this is what somebody wants to say to you as well maybe you have to reject someone it could be a leo or a libra and you're you have to find the courage to tell this person and it's really going to hurt them hurt their feelings yeah the therapist i'm getting a lot of different messages here The hanged man. I, listen. Control your thoughts. Because there's the puppet master here. Someone, I feel like you're turning somebody upside down. I just heard weeping. Somebody could be weeping. Now, somebody you could have rejected wants to express something to you. Maybe you left this person hanging or... Um... Now, for some of you, because if you've got somebody pregnant here, I feel like they don't want the baby. And that's really upsetting. Someone's like, I don't want the baby. I'm sorry, but no. So I feel like you're going to have to break someone's heart here. Okay, I want to know what that Three of Swords is about because that can go so many... Yeah, the Five of Wands... Oh, Capricorn and then the Three of Cups. It could be somebody from your past that you don't want to reconcile with. Someone's competing with you. Or again, this could be you competing with your mind. What is going on? Because that took a turn. Let's just use this deck because it's already out. Can I know what the Three of Swords is for Capricorn? So I feel like you have, you have to have the courage to say something to someone, but it's going to upset them. And it is what it is. For others of you, this could just be like I said, you just, um, people are trying to knock you off your throne and it hurts for people to see how strong you are. Like, you know, when people are watching you and they're getting their feelings hurt, so I was not fucking watching me then, you stupid cunt. But it's people who are in competition with you, okay? This could be family as well. Maybe you don't fuck with your family no more and they're hurt by that. But you're just like, okay, well, you guys are dickheads or you argue too much or you're on a low vibration. This could also be you breaking somebody's heart. Like, maybe you're just not interested in someone. It's like, listen, fuck it, I just don't like you like that. And it just is what it is. Or going back to the first message, I feel like there's someone that you really want and you're just, it hurts to even... Um, like, you know when you want someone so bad, it just hurts. I mean, that's just what I'm getting. You're just like... <laughs> you could also be arguing with someone over somebody also the plot thickens because with the per perfection accuracy and loyal
This could be a lies well with the loyalty. Maybe somebody lied to you. Maybe you're going to find out there's like a third party situation. And you're like, man. Okay, let's just see what the Three of Swords is. Because I just need to know. Yeah, the Fool card here. So I feel like you're freeing yourself from some type of lie or some type of hurt. Or you're not hurt by something. Somebody could have gave all their money to somebody as well. And that's what they're going to tell you. You're just like, okay, wait a minute, what? Come again now. What did you do? You gave your money to who, what, where, and how? When we've got bills and shit to pay in the house? Yo, my son, mud. Okay, I don't know what's happening here. Yeah, the Queen of Swords. I'm getting the truth hurts. Literally, she's she's like um consuming the sword and it's gonna go. So I'm getting cutthroat. The king and the queen of swords. Woo! I don't know what is happening here. Okay, let's clarify with the seven of wands because this just went, this just took a different way. That was two cards stuck together. I just want one card, please. Please cut. How long have we been here? The six of cups. Yeah, I feel like you're saying no. It's either you don't want kids or there's somebody from your past that just keeps watching you and you don't want them because she's focused on the ace of cups. So this is either self-love, self-reflection, because she's looking at herself. Or when you look at the mirror, there's one person, but there's two cups there. Okay. That's being reflected. So I feel like there's a new two of cups. Maybe you have a new love interest or you're focused on something else. But the past keeps wanting to resurface. Because that's what I'm seeing here. I feel like you're blocking the past out. Yeah, because you want to be free and I feel like it's going to really hurt this person. But you're trying to, with, you're trying to, you know, hold, you, know, you just want to, um, you just got to say what you need to say. I feel like you just need to tell someone, listen, like I want something new, something fresh. I'm just moved on. Okay. I'm not interested in the past here. You may have to block someone. I don't know why people don't block their exes anyway. Because to me, if you're not blocking your ex, then you must still want their attention. Because that don't, that don't make no sense. So I feel like you need to block somebody here. You just need to really let go. So yeah, going back to Virgo's reading about cutting something out, letting something go. There's something that you need to express to someone. You just need to be honest. Or maybe there's something that you need to express that you did in the past that's going to hurt somebody's feelings, but it's going to set you free. Because I'm getting like something about a free agent here. Yeah, because I feel like maybe your ex is going to try to come back and trap you with a child. Maybe your ex is in competition with someone. Maybe they know that you know somebody that you know somebody, that you're interested in somebody new. So they're trying, so your ex is trying to block. This is so interesting because I had a dream the other day. I don't know who's watching me, so I'm not going to say what the dream was. <laughs> but I had a dream the other day and it was similar to this energy. I feel like your ex is trying to block you from a new soulmate. Now, this could be somebody who you have children with because she kind of looks like, you know, that kind of housewife or the, that mother figure. So there could be like a baby mother that's really angry and they don't want you to move on. Or your ex is trying to block a new connection. They may do this by trying to seduce you, to trap you. So do not have sex with your ex is what I'm going to say first. Second of all, or this is somebody from your past that's trying to block you because they're watching you falling in love with someone else and it's really hurting them and they're trying to... I feel like they're trying to hold back from saying something to you. But it's like, well, how do you know I'm moving on with someone else unless you've been watching me? Know what I mean? So somebody doesn't want you to move on. That's what I'm getting also. Yeah, so they're the puppet master, they're trying to control the situation and keep you stuck with the hangman energy. But you're so innocent. It's like, yeah, you're never going to know. It's like, really? Because my guides will show me exactly what's going on. So you may get something in a dream. This could be a dream or a daydream or a message. Especially if you have cancer in your 12th house, Pisces, the, the, the illusion dreams. If you got cancer there, no one can hide shit from you. You may be like a dream master. You know how to re remote view and lucid dream. And you know how to wake yourself up from the dream and get back in the dream and go in the same place where your last um was when you woke up from your dream. Someone just doesn't know. Like, listen, don't listen. 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 Yeah, the Ten of Swords. And look at that. The, the swords are right in her body. Like, oof. Somebody could be getting surgery as well. Yeah, we got the five of cups, but it's in the reverse. I feel like you don't care. <laughs> you don't miss someone. You have no... I'm hearing you have no regrets. 
I'm not even to hurt someone with the truth when you have no regrets, but the page of swords, someone's watching you. You have no regrets. Or something is over and it's just done, okay? I'm also getting somebody's going to break their silence. Because they've come out of their mourning stage. So now they're able to say something. But I feel like somebody wants to come and argue. But you're putting an ending to any competition. If there's anybody trying to compete for your attention. Because I feel like for some of you, you've got like a lot of people around you. And they really want you. Could be a Pisces or a Cancer or a Leo. Gemini. Cancer is very heavy here. I would say Aquarius. Scorpio. Libra. Yeah. Um... Someone really wants you, but I feel like you're focused on somebody else or something else. So somebody wants to war with you and fight and argue. And you're just you're just putting an end into that. You're just I feel like you're not even given a chance for somebody to argue with you. Or like I said, your ex is in competition. Somebody is something, someone wants something to end here. They do not want you to move on, or this is you having to tell somebody something. Yeah, the moon, cancer energy again. Like I said, something's going to be revealed to you in your dreams or somebody's going to tell the truth about something. Somebody may tell on themselves also. Someone is like secretly watching you in your love life or your family could be doing this. I don't know what's happening here. I just feel like somebody from your past is trying to block you and they don't want you to do something, but they're trying to do it secretly, but you're in the know. You just be knowing what the fuck is going on. Or there's some kind of secret society trying to watch you and block you. Um... So yeah, in the beginning, I was saying that you could be trying to restrain from cussing someone the fuck out. I feel like you're going to cuss somebody out clean and then hang them out to dry. You want to cuss out somebody clean. Oh, well. But the king, of, the king of swords, yes, you want to cuss out somebody clean. King of swords, no emotion, nothing. Like I said what the fuck I said. Like at least the queen of swords has a bit of compassion. She may let you speak. The king of swords is like, nope. He's cold with it. He may not even say anything at all. Okay. I feel like someone's trying to argue with you and you're just like, nah, bitch. If this is you going to cuss someone out, um, I just don't even know what's happening. <laughs> I don't know what's going on. I'm just seeing an argument here. Two people are fighting over something or over someone or somebody from your past wants to start some drama. And you're just not with the bullshit, okay? Or maybe this is you. Maybe you want to start some drama with your ex. They're not with the bullshit. Oh, so refreshing. Exactly. This is on the row of the Six of Cups. You just know you want something fresh and new. You're with that fresh, fresh. Or you're with that new, new. Okay? But somebody's like, no. Not if I have anything to do with it. We have oh, so simple. Yeah, just simple. I'm a free agent, my nigga. I can do what I want. And it's as simple as that. Yeah, also divine. You're looking for someone divine. Maybe you've got your eye on someone divine. Again, like I said, the divine is going to give you confirmation about something or someone. And then also naughty. <laughs> someone, again, somebody could have, be having naughty thoughts about someone. That's what I feel like. If somebody could be trying to enter your dream state to block you from connecting with someone um, astrologically, kundalini-wise. Oh, so educational. Mm, somebody's educating themselves on what you're doing and getting up in your business. Okay, let's pull one of these cards. Let's do a bit of extra for my cappuccinos because is this Capricorn I'm doing? Yeah, let's do a bit extra for my cappuccinos because what the fuck is going on here? Yeah, so with the oh, so educational, the king of schools, I feel like you're about to school someone. <laughs> I feel like they're about to school someone. Yeah, look at these. These two cards came out. The first card, it says, I'm so afraid of what the future may be. You didn't act. Ooh. Okay. And then we have the dangers of the world are always lurking. Wow. Then impossible is only a matter of opinion. Yeah, somebody could be saying that something's never going to work. You shouldn't do it. You shouldn't go for it. You shouldn't go after this person, this opportunity. There's danger around you lurking, but I feel like you're putting an end into that. Also, as well, with the courage, I feel like you have to um, be courageous to just say something, cut someone off, speak your truth, man. Yeah. 
So again, going back to the Virgo reading, because the Virgo reading was about honesty is the best policy. Someone is not going to like what you say, but I don't really feel like you give a fuck. Okay. Okay. It is what it is, darling. Okay. Thank you so much. I hope you guys liked the reading. I hope it resonated. If it did, let me know in the comment section. Bye.